Good to go. Members of the media, we're now joined by Coach Bob Huggins. Our first question comes from Greg Hunter. So, Bob, just general thoughts. Um, you know, you scored 80, but it looked like their offense was as efficient as it had has been. And then, obviously, defensive issues continue. I don't, I don't know how we scored 80 when our four guys that generally make shots didn't make any shots. Um, we just didn't. We 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 rely on making. We can't guard. I mean, I've told you guys that, you know. And then I get crucified for telling the truth, but we can't guard. We don't guard. We we tried to play some matchup to kind of camouflage the fact that we can't guard. So we work for a while, and then everybody, of course, everybody watches film like we do, and so they work against the the matchup. Same thing, though. I mean, if, if somebody lets his man go, drives straight line to the rim, we don't, we don't have a shot blocker. We don't have we don't have Sykes back there. We don't have Elijah back there. We don't have Devin Williams back there, for that matter. And then Gabe took took charges, and they, they didn't. They, they uh, oh, he took charges. So let me leave it at that. Our next question is goes to Greg Carey. You had difficulty stopping those straight line drives all year, but what specifically was Oklahoma State doing that made it tough for you guys to keep them out of the paint, particularly in that second half? Run, just running by us. I mean, they didn't – they ball screened, but, I mean, everybody in America ball screens. They didn't do anything out of the ordinary. They were just they were just better than us today. Next question is from Cody Nesper. Coach, uh, a non-traditional senior day, but just what what have Taz and Gabe meant to this program the last two years? Well, Gabe's Gabe's been Gabe's been on the defensive end, terrific for us. Uh, and I think his offense has gotten better and better, but on the defensive end, he's been he's been terrific. I don't know where we would be without him defensively. And you know, Taz has had a heck of a year. Uh, it's it's a shame that he's been he's been dinged up and and, and missed games uh, because he he would I think would have put a heck of a year together in terms of scoring the ball. But that happens. Justin Jackson. Coach, uh, sort of on that, have you talked to, to either one at all about uh, whether or not they're thinking about returning or is it still too for, for that, for the two seniors? We talk all the time. Uh, not it's not it's not the right time we're having a hard enough time winning games much less you know filling their head with other things hey coach so derek's been shooting just under 80 percent from the line in his last few games do you think his previous struggles are just mental with him or was it his alignment Well, I think I think his alignment led to mental issues. I mean, when you miss that many, um, it affects you. It does affect you mentally. But he missed him because of his alignment. Our next question goes to Kevin Kinder. Coach, with the difficulty of defending straight line jobs and because you don't have a job blocker, are you coaching guys just to square up and not jump, not really contest layups and close-in shots so you keep them off the line? Or, you know, what, what's the process there? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure what you're asking me. I mean, am I, am I telling our guards to jump up and try to block a shot? No. I mean, I don't want to give up three. I, I want them to get position and stop the drive. 
we're, we're supposed to, we're supposed to help. We're supposed to help and recover. It's hard to help straight line drives. I meant more on, you know, with your bigger guys, when the ball go, does go down the lane, you tell them not to challenge as much to keep them off the line. We don't have a shot blocker. Why would, why would you tell someone to foul somebody when, I mean, Derek's in foul trouble enough. Gabe's in foul trouble enough. I mean, we're, we're, we're constantly trying to, trying to keep those guys on the floor and, and they're, they're in foul trouble. We, we, I mean, we tried, we tried to play Sonny in there. Sonny's a better shot blocker than either one of them. He didn't block a shot either. He tried. We don't have shot blockers. Now, you know, that's a different game if Sykes is in there, but Sykes isn't here. No, we don't have shot blockers. Back to Greg Hunter. So, Bob, how badly do you guys need a little bit of rest before the postseason tournament? And then and talk about postseason. Only a few of these guys have actually played in postseason games because of the cancellations last year. We didn't, we didn't do anything for two days because I thought they were tired. And we had just played, what, three games in five days. And so we didn't – we walked through. We had walkthroughs. We didn't. We didn't run up and down. We didn't. We didn't tax their legs at all. Uh, I just told them take two days off. Take take uh, two days off. We'll go back on Tuesday. Go back on Tuesday. At least we then we'll know who we're playing, what we got to prepare for, and I think we will by Tuesday. Justin Jackson. Coach, um, obviously, you know, that was a pretty young lineup that uh, Mike had out there tonight, uh, but yet they come up with uh, more rebounds, uh, you know, hustle points, things like that. Um, how disappointing is that or, or how much that is because maybe they're just so young, they just, you know, played with more enthusiasm maybe. I don't know. How old's LeBron? Yeah, I, I think he plays with tremendous enthusiasm, and he's he's what in his mid to late thirties. You, you would think if LeBron could do that and and, and do it for a hundred times a, a a year, you would think that twenty one year olds, twenty year olds, our guys aren't very old either. By the way, we got we got a lot of sophomores. Right. <clears throat> Any further questions for Coach Huggins? We have one from Mike Kazaza. Mike, you're on mute. Please unmute. Hey, Bob. Um, a, a while ago, you had mentioned that um, your team was sometimes hard to figure out. You guys, you know, played a bunch of games in a row and, and started to perform pretty well. And then I don't know if if you can judge everything from the way the schedule shook out the past couple of weeks, or if they're still kind of confounding a little bit um, at this point, have you figured them out or are they still trying to get pointed in the right direction of this situation? 26 games in Mike. I mean, I think, I think anybody that has played 26 games ought to be able to figure it out by now. I mean, we're getting ready to go play in the, in the conference tournament where you're not you're not playing a game and then taking a day off. You're playing a game and then playing a game and then playing a game. We're in trouble if that's the case. We'll, we'll be home early. The NCAA tournament is you know you play, you have a day off, and then you play again. If we can't we can't handle you know getting ready for two two uh, two games in three days, then we'll be home early in that deal too. We weren't, we, we, we had no bounce. We had zero bounce. And I mean, I, it was, it was that way from the beginning. And what, I mean, what do you do? You know, I mean, I, I kept saying, fellas, we got to play, man. We got to play. We got, we, we have no bounce. Didn't do any good. Any further questions for coach Huggins? Coach, thank you for your time.
You're welcome.